What's up, guys? I got a tote. Look at this thing. This is the Brown Buffalo Parka Tote in green 3M reflective material. And this is a beauty. Look at this. <laughs> this might be one of the most beautiful totes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> wow. So I just, I got this back, this bag from uh, the Brown Buffalo, which is a small company um, based out of Costa Mesa, California. It's owned by Douglas Davidson. He's a true artisan. He builds all these bags by hand and designs them and builds them out of the best materials and the stitching is done impeccably and it's all gorgeous. So this is an amazing looking tote. But what about the features? Let's go over them. So as you can see, this is a sort of a st fairly structured tote, meaning it will pretty much stand on its own. Um, so it has quite a bit of structure. It's empty right now. And it, it has a lot of some rigidity to it. Um, the inside, and you can see here, this is actually mesh. It's clear. And in, underneath it, it's orange X-Pack. I want to say VX21. It kind of feels like VX21. Yeah, yeah, I think it's VX21. Um, but it's a, it's an X-Pack material. And uh, it's showing through, so it adds a really nice, like the mesh on top kind of dulls the orange a bit. And it creates, is it green mesh? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's green mesh actually. And it creates, so when you combine green with bright orange, it dulls it slightly and gives it almost like a salmon tone, which is gorgeous. Um, and this is actually an outer pocket and the zippers are what, what, uh, what the Brown Buffalo calls storm proof, I believe. So very, I'm not sure what that means exactly. They're not aqua guard, but they are, they do have like a, it's like a reverse coil, but it's a very robust, beautiful zipper. And it's very, very smooth, like butter, very easy to open and close. And a pocket like this will fit. Let's see, will it fit my, yep, it fits an iPhone 11 Pro right there. So nice little pocket. Here you have key a key uh, thingy. You know, a little carabiner type, uh, forget exactly the name of it, but you know what I'm talking about. One of these guys. Um, so that's really nice for keys. Let's try to connect my key. So you can see what that looks like right there. Um, so that works well. And then on the back, it is just a nice pass-through for luggage. Now, what's really unique about this outside is that it has these multiple layers, and I'm not exactly sure what the materials are, but essentially there's like a reflective material, so it looks green, but then as the light kind of, as the different angles change, um, it kind of changes, it has like a sheen, and it changes slightly in color, and even has like sometimes like a rainbowy kind of, color it has like reflections but then the really interesting thing is that when you have actual light you know shining on it like strong light then it turns into like a bright reflective white white it's essentially reflective so the whole bag basically is like this reflective bag which is pretty cool but so really i mean this bag is like whether it's like day or night it's gonna really look cool it's it's very elegant but also futuristic in a way and i don't know it's hard to describe what's what i love so much about this aesthetic but it's just it sort of blends like a casualness with an elegance on the other hand but at the same time it is very it's like a very handsome tote but it's not like it's it's very unisex like i could see this working for men and women um it's just very it's like a lot of the brown buffalo. It's like a very, it's just gorgeous. It's hard to describe. Uh, in person, it looks a lot better even than it does in the, in the video. Um, 
Okay, and then we have this uh, seat belt sort of material, which is like, I think it's like the, I don't know, again, it's like top quality. It's like so smooth and soft. This is actually like a mesh on the outside, so it has like a mesh overlay. I think that might increase its reflectivity, or I'm not exactly sure, but it gives it, definitely gives it some rigidity. Um, and it's a, uh, yeah, that's my nail. <laughs> Sorry for those who, uh, who don't like that kind of sound, but <laughs> just giving you an idea. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much the outside of it. As far as the bottom, it is sort of like a, feels like a VX something, some kind of an X-Pack, but it's really cool. It's like an olive, olive color X-Pack. Um, and I think it's maybe VX21, or I, didn't, I should have looked at the specs, but anyway, it's on the website. All right, now on the in, now over here, what's interesting is it has a zipper, right? Um, one thing that's interesting about this zipper is that, you know, again, they advertise, you know, it's advertised as like stormproof zippers, um, and it has this reverse coil. It feels like a very robust zipper, but if you look closely over here, there is a bit of an opening. So if it is really gonna rain hard, I mean, there is water can technically get into these corners over here. Um, you know, not a huge deal, but it is something to note because it's just, you know, it's not totally water sealed basically, um, but it is uh, fairly so. I would be sort of confident with the camera gear inside, maybe if it was in another cube. I don't know if I would put my camera just like that because it does have that. So I would need a, I would probably pack an umbrella and if it would rain, I would use that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of the outside. Um, and then on the inside, it's a nice bright orange. So it's again, that VX, uh, material and oh boy, is that high vis. That's just a lovely lining on the inside. Um, so one side is just plain, as you can see, it just doesn't have anything on. And then the other side has, um, one of these sort of, it's almost like an admin kind of panel similar to ones that they sell actually on the uh, website but it's uh, built in and it has two stretch pockets uh, so two sort of stretchy mesh pockets as well as one uh, top uh, larger zipper pocket um, and then uh, and then it also has a, uh, a pen slot in there so yeah just like a nice little nice little pocket system for uh, various flatter items, I would say. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much, pretty much the whole pack, the whole uh, tote right there. So, okay, in practice, how does it feel and how does it look? Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, and then these handles. Okay, so this is an interesting one. This handle feels very very nice it's like a webbing folded over so it has like a nice nice sensation very similar to the grab handles on their uh, conceal packs um yeah so lovely to hold in the hand really really nice feeling however um one thing that is um kind of a letdown for me personally for my use case is that it is um pretty short it's not very long handles so what does that mean well, for me, it means that wearing it on the shoulder is very, very high up. So it's not the most, it's not the most comfortable. I mean, it's kind of choking my armpit almost a little bit. It's kind of going right into my armpit. Um, for reference, I am uh, six foot, uh, six foot one seventy five. So you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm pretty average, I would say. And uh, yeah, it kind of rides up a little high up there. Maybe it was intended to, I think it was intended to be pretty tight, like a pretty secure hold, but it's not the most comfortable for me, I'm gonna be honest. So really, uh, I would have to carry it with my hand and I don't know if I like that. I, I really prefer to have the ability to wear it over a shoulder. Another thing that I noticed is that this webbing material is pretty sleek. So because of that, it, it, it tends to uh, slide a little bit. So over here on this side, I have this, this shirt happens to have some texture over here on this side. So over here, it'll hold okay. But then if I wear it on this side where it doesn't have that, where it's more regular cotton, this is I think a, like a Pima cotton 
shirt and if I walk it just slides right off so it's not the best you know it just sort of slides off so like I said really this is meant better this is much better for just holding in your hand I get it it's kind of a statement piece you know what I mean so you have to be kind of okay with just like accepting that and just holding it in the hand I don't know if it's actually possible for uh, Doug from the brown buffalo to uh, to lengthen the straps um, I guess maybe it's possible but it's sort of a it would probably be quite a project because it basically means like you know undoing the whole bag but I don't know I kind of wish it had longer handles um, for my for my specific uh, use case at least but I mean again this is uh, <laughs> such a beauty uh, yeah it's hard to it's hard to it's hard to exaggerate how beautiful this bag is in my eyes I, I think it's really something um, okay what else um, let's try to load it out you know and see uh, see how it carries how it handles in terms of loadouts so you know what would be a typical loadout for something like this well let, let's give it a try shall we um, first of all let's try a water bottle this is a 32 ounce um, uh, hydro, hydro flask and one of the benefits of a tote versus say like a messenger is that you can actually use taller water bottles so if you're the type who likes taller water bottles then that's you know then tote might be good for you so that's gonna just kind of stand up there on the side now keep in mind it does not have any mechanism to keep the bottle from falling over so um, it's just gonna use sort of gravity and uh, so you would want to put other items in there to just prevent it from toppling over. But um, it seems like it's holding pretty well. It's full of water, so it's, it is kind of naturally kind of tilting over, but that's normal. Okay, next up, um, let's try to put in... This is the um, Low Pro Gear Box. What is it called? Gear? Yeah, I think it's called the Gear something. Anyway, I'll, I'll link to it in the description if you'd like. But it's the uh, large size of their Creator Box, Gear Box, whatever, Camera Cube. Essentially, it opens up from uh, the top. And uh, inside, I have my camera with a lens. So this is the uh, OMD EM5 with the 45 1.2 uh, micro four thirds lens. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice, I've just been experimenting with this guy. Um, it also has this buckle over here. And then once you open th that up, it actually allows the, it to open up all the way. It's kind of cool. And then that way it actually has more slots for more lenses. So it's kind of nice because it has this hybrid system where once you close the strap, it sort of, uh, it sort of locks it right there, so and then it will prevent it from opening too far so it's nice again it's taller so this is nice for totes um, so let's try to put that in Ooh, that just reaches the very top of it so you can actually see let's see can you see that yeah it's just right there at the very top the zipper will still close it seems Next up, um, I still have a little bit of room on the edge there. Um, what should I take? Hmm, good question. Let's take, um, this is the, uh, it's a Tom Bin stuff pouch and inside it, I have a Patagonia regular fleece. So it actually managed to stuff in there nicely. So yeah, it's just a full size regular fleece. Um, so let's put that in there because you know, it could get cold sometimes. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to lay that flat inside because I want to create more space on the top over it so that I can put something extra on top. Next, I'm going to take my Leatherology, um, my Leatherology uh, little tech pouch. This is a, a leather, really high quality. It's gorgeous. Um, love this leather. It's green, so it kind of matches the, uh, the toad, actually. And uh, it has a little handle over here. It's kind of cool. And I've been using these guys for quite a while. They smell really nice. And uh, inside you just have, it's like it opens clamshell style. So I like that you can kind of see your stuff really easily. And it has a mesh pocket on the top. And it's great. I'll link to this as well. And so this is, you know, if you want to take some tech stuff. Um, so let's put that on top of the uh, pouch. I'm sorry, on top of the uh, stuff, stuff, uh, Thingy. Okay, and now it's getting a little bit tight. Um, what else might I want to take? Um, I'm going to go ahead 
and take this. Um, sometimes if you get hungry, um, for those of you who are uh, health conscious, uh, this is a cool little system that I figured out. It's the Defy um, X-Pack pouch. I often feature this in my videos. But what's nice about this is that I kind of figured out a perfect little snack that I take with me everywhere. So inside I have simply a little liner. It's a, just a regular Ziploc bag. And inside there it neatly fits um, a uh, wild sardines, some protein, you know, um, and some Brazil nuts in there currently in a little stasher bag, as well as a snow peak spork that nicely fits in there. So uh, yeah, this is a really great way to always make sure that, you know, if you're ever stuck and you're hungry, instead of going to McDonald's and eating garbage, you get to have some quality protein and some good, uh, some good quality fats and, uh, you know, yeah, gives me some energy, some calories, without having to, uh, while maintaining my health. So there you go, that's a little pouch. Doesn't go bad, you know, so it's nice. And I'm just gonna put that alongside by the tech pouch. And then lastly, I'm um, just gonna put in, this is the um, pocket up small, uh, one of those pouches and inside I just have like little basic first aid stuff. So I have Neosporin, I have bug wipes, I have a uh, little travel, you know, one of those little travel soaps as well as some band-aids and uh, some uh, f mouth freshener, things like that. So you can put a little first aid kit in there, put that in there. Then I have, um, this is the, um, my Ray-Ban sunglasses. Um, and yeah, you know, you can just, I'm sure it could fit. And that's it. That's pretty much what it will carry. Uh, now it's pretty much full. And let's see if it'll zip closed. And it's zipped. And now let's try to put it over the shoulder. And you can get an idea. And like you see, it's pretty tall. But it actually, I mean, yeah, it kind of slides. So again, it's really meant to hold in the hand and it's a really nice it's a really nice look um, once you just if you just are willing to walk around with it I mean it's a sexy bag there's no way there's no other way to say it but it's uh, not the most practical in terms of ways that you can carry it okay now there is one more thing that I'm gonna try to stuff in here okay and that is an iPad so um, I'm gonna try it a couple ways here let's see so this is the iPad, and it is an iPad 11 Pro, and it's inside a rickshaw bags. It's a custom chosen color. It's an X-Pack material. Actually, it's identical material to the inside of the bag, so it's kind of cool. It's uh, exactly the same material. I believe it's VX21. And then I have mine with black uh, lined inside, and so this is the Apple Pencil. On the inside, I have my iPad. So this is it, right? So this is the iPad 11 Pro um, right there. So let's uh, try to see if I can squeeze this guy in on top of everything that's already inside the bag. Let's see here how I do this. Boom, it works. So it's obviously a heavy bag now <laughs> with a camera and a full water bottle and an iPad and a layer. <laughs> it's got a lot of stuff in there, um, but it carries, let's let them try to hold it. It's probably gonna be out of camera, but it, it carries nicely. It carries like a heavy bag that you hold in your hands. And of course these straps are quite comfortable. So yeah, it works. <laughs> Um, so if you're the type of person who's okay carrying a tote with your hands rather than putting it over your shoulder, then this will work, but it does not have a shoulder strap. So if you're the type who does like to wear it over your shoulder, unless you have really kind of, I don't know, maybe broad shoulders, but skinny at the same time, I don't, it's hard to, I'm trying to imagine what kind of build would actually fit this well over your shoulder. Cause you need to have fairly, a fairly lo long shoulders, like a wide shoulders, broad, for it to actually not slide down. But on the other hand, you also need to have not too big arms so that it'll actually fit. 
but you know I think this is more of a hold it in your hands kind of bag it fits a really good amount of stuff um, so yeah you know I mean to be honest I don't know if I'll keep it because it's just uh, not really exactly how I carry um, the other thing is it's very nice so I don't know if it's like really beach worthy um, but that being said, I mean, if for what it does, it does, uh, for what it's designed, I guess it does really well. And like I said, the beauty is really the number one of this bag, if you ask me. It's just so gorgeous. I mean, it's hard to describe how beautiful this bag is. Um, I did not put anything in those admin pouches. If you guys are curious, I can see what fits inside. I'm actually going to try to remove my iPad and see if the iPad will fit in there. So this is the iPad Pro 11, just on its own inside the keyboard case. And uh, let's see if it'll fit. It looks like it actually will just about, I mean, so it's sort of, so it juts out just a bit on the top, but I mean, the zipper could still close, but the zipper of the admin thing will not close. So the answer is pretty much yes. I mean, as long as you're not, you know, tilting the bag in weird directions, it holds it nicely pretty much. Um, and you could still close the bag. So you could actually save on the sleeve. Obviously you're not gonna get the same amount of padding like you have with a sleeve, but uh, it fits, so it saves space. So that's nice. So there it is, guys. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. I really love how this bag looks, but in terms of the usability, while it has some really nice features like the luggage pass-through, the nice admin panel on the inside, the high viz, the, the whole thing is pretty much reflective. And uh, there's a nice little pocket here as well as this nice loop. Um, it still is not exactly right for what I need because I really need to be able to put it over a shoulder and for that it is just not ideal um, so that's unfortunate but um, I don't know it's still gorgeous so <laughs> the beauty of it is uh, still captivating for me so hope this was helpful guys um, I hope you have a great uh, holiday and new year and uh, yeah I'll see you all in the next one Bye-bye.